The views and opinions expressed in this podcast by the host and or the guest do not necessarily reflect the views of the host and or Paranormal Buzz Radio and or its sponsors. Use of any material produced by Paranormal Buzz Radio without express written consent is prohibited. Paranormal Buzz Radio will not be held responsible for you holding your knees, crying and rocking in a corner in a puddle of your own urine, or being beheaded by a group of children in a cornfield. In fact, if you come across a group of children in a cornfield, we promise to make fun of you as you run away screaming in terror. Listener discretion is advised. Caution. You are now entering the all-consuming realm of Shay's paranormal chat, where the things that are better left unsaid are actually said. Shut up and sit down. You're listening to Shay's paranormal chat. Paranormal podcasting done Shay's way. Tons of fun. Dude, seriously? A bit sarcastic. Hashtag investigator, not hunter. But always real. Hashtag data, not evidence. Don't get your panties in a twist. Oh my god, really? This is real, raw conversation. Ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the show. Good evening, everybody. TJF, as always, and I swear to God that two minutes gets less and less every every single year. Can't share <clears throat> to it enough places, but. As always, well, not as always, but luckily, we have the beautiful Kelly McCarvel with us tonight. Hello, <laughs> hello. Kelly. How hello, are you? Hello. I am good. I'm battling a cold, but I am here. Yeah. So, right. yeah. Yeah, the, but the heavy panting is me because of <laughs> our guest, let me tell you. <laughs> she makes me pant heavily, too. Oh, I mean, <laughs> come, on. come on. We have the amazing... <laughs> The amazing Misty Connor with us tonight, of course, from the Southern Gypsies. Hey, Misty, how you doing? Oh my gosh, that was such a great introduction. And I tell you what, I was I I was a cunt here in here. I was I was sliding in right today. They were like, "Where have you been?" <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was, was like funny. I was like, the edge. Yes, right on the edge of your seat. Yes. I was like, are we, do I got another hour? Is this happening now? That's what I'm messaging. <laughs> yeah. She's like, is it nine Eastern? I'm like, uh, eight Eastern. She's like, oh, seven minutes? Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm ready to go. Don't worry. I'm, I'm good to go. Just double check in. I'm like, Heck yeah. I have a weak Man, bladder. Man, I tell you what. I have a weak bladder. Don't make me pee. That I, I tell you, man, anybody in the radio, like, that's been doing radio or has done radio, they understand. They're like, get your ass on there. They don't care what you look like. You could be completely naked, but they got to hear that voice. So let's roll. All right. You know, it's a podcast. We care not what you're wearing. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's exactly right. Yeah. Uh, well, before we get too serious, we got to have a little fun. Yes. What? Ser- what? Well, We're that's gonna get- the point of having I'm not sign up for this. Each one of them Thank you, Kelly. That's what I'm thinking. I want a little serious. Not, not mm-hmm. t- you know, okay. this is me. But <laughs> Anger, are you one it. of the sisters that is always naked or the one that hates it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering why you're not on video. I know the answer. I know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, you would know the answer, honey. Listen, there is only one closed one, okay? And it's not me, okay? It's not me. It's Ashley, right? No, no, no. It's, yes, it is. It is, okay. Yeah, yep. it's normal. Yeah, it's normally an Ashley sandwich. I'm one of the outside. It's like, you know, an Oreo. I'm one of the, the ones that are naked on the outside. She's normally the one that's closed. So, yeah, I'm a naked one. And if you'd like to know what I'm wearing, it's only a T-shirt. So I hope that makes y'all feel good. <laughs> I dressed up for the show. Makes me feel really good. <laughs> I'm yeah, like showered I'm like, in everything, guys. Come on. Yeah. Uh, oh, look at you. You 
know, I used to, I swear to goodness, when people were like, hey, let's have the Southern Gypsies on and this and that and other, and we were like, okay. Then one of them sprung on us live. I don't remember which one it was. We were just assuming it was going to be like this. And I was like, are you shitting me? I got to put clothes on and get some makeup on here? So ever since then, I've been like, listen, telephone is beautiful. It's a beautiful yeah. thing. I don't have to look decent. <laughs> if you guys called in naked on video, this is a podcast. So they couldn't see you. I would be like starstruck and like, uh, 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 what do I do now? I tell you what. I tell you what, the next time somebody says, let's do a live, I will show up naked just for y'all. But I'll make sure that everything's covered. Y'all can tell I'm naked just sitting there. I'll just smile. Be oh, like, I'm here. <laughs> last week, last week when when uh, my we my computer crashed and we couldn't go live. And Holly's yeah. like, well, I can run it on, we can do a Facebook live. And I'm not like wearing a bra. And you should see the look she gave me. And it took me four days to figure out why she gave me that look. She's like, uh, this is Holly Mullins and, you know, Missy Connor, like, uh, a bra? What's that? You're like, so what? Let's go. <laughs> you know what? I pay a lot for my bra's chair. But when it's yeah, time to come off, whoo, Lord, they are gone, honey. Mm-hmm. Oh, Lord. I'm like, they're out of here. Yep. Awesome. Ah, I got to be free. Yep. Yep. I mean, you know what I'm talking about, Kelly. We've talked I about do. that shit. Uh, we have. a lot of shit from Taurus. We buy a lot of shit from Torrid, but you know what? It's well worth the money. They're cute, oh, and I like if you have to wear one, they're comfortable, but no, they need to come off as soon as they can. Oh, I'm like, yes. I'm walking through the door one foot in, and one, <laughs> one, one strap is one already out. out. Yeah, it's like, yes. gone. Yeah. She's got both boobs out before. Nope. She has both feet out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Lord, when I come through my house, there is a love seat right near the door. Every stitch of clothing I can get away with is on that love seat by the time I keep walking. Yeah. I'm like, that's it, man. Oh, we have lost control already. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's good. <laughs> I have the beer in like... front of me. I have Pepsi, a water, and an unopened beer in front of me just Hell in case yeah. I needed it. Hell yeah, that's yeah, the way, you know. you know, there for a while, yeah. Ashley was like, she would say, are you an alcoholic? And I would be like, no, but she's like, you drink a beer every day. I'm like, that's not an alcoholic. That's just something I choose to drink. It's different. The <laughs> beer is addicted to me. Yes. That's, that's, I, there you go. That's the truth. Uh, <laughs> all right. I'm going to give some shout outs in chat before we get, and I'm going to try to, uh, Every time you guys are on, you make the funny <laughs> cuts. I'm telling you. I just love you guys. That's why I wanted one on at a time to try to get to know everybody Aww. a little different. <laughs> yes. I thank you for that. When Holly was like, they want to do a month of gifts, I was like, fuck yeah. I was yeah. like, that's going to be so awesome. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And a year from now, I'll have you back for another month of gypsies. I'm telling you. Fuck yes, always. We would always. We love y'all. I mean, Kelly, we have got to meet her at events and stuff. I don't think we've got the pleasure of meeting you yet, have we, honey? In person, no. No, not yet. Yeah. I'm She's a hoot. We do this. Maybe. Oh, you need to come on out. You're going to have a. I do. It. I'm, I'm working on good. it. Here's good. Something, good. Uh, here's something we... Holly probably doesn't even remember. Um, it has to be at least four years now. And Holly and I have only been friends on Facebook for maybe two years. It has to be yeah. at least four years. Holly's one of the first people that I did a radio show with outside of anybody that I knew. And she she has Aww. no clue who I am. I probably, who knows what name I went by then? Sherry, Sherry Ann, Shay, who knows? And I <laughs> still, Aww. to this day, remember that show. So I've been a fan of hers and then... It led to you guys, so. Aww. Yeah. See, that's so fucking awesome. You keep it real, and that's what I like. Honey, we keep, you know what? That's the part that keeps it crazy around us is because there's so many people that sugarcoat shit and pat people's balls and ass. So when we come in, we're like, hey, listen, man, this is how it goes down. Except, and our readings, too, we try to keep it very straightforward. Yeah. And then people are like, oh, them gypsies are this and that and that. We're just real is what the fuck we are. And yeah. that's what, I think that intimidates some people. It no does. matter where you're at, I think that intimidates. Yeah. Because they want you to fit in a little box. I mean, you don't, 
they're like, oh, fuck, this, this bitch can really talk to me on a normal level. What the hell? This is, yeah, so then they get crazy. Yeah. My oh, ass geez. alone couldn't fit in a triple box. Never mind. In a box. So. <laughs> in a I box. know. It's crazy. Yeah. Like, when I first, like, years ago, when we first came into the paranormal, we hadn't developed our guests as much as we have now and things like that. We were just on the paranormal side, the investigating side. And there was two types of women, okay? Two types of women. Either she was hot as hell and fucking everybody on the team, or either she was their mother. And that was, she mothered the whole team. Most of the time she was a case manager, and they didn't think of her in a way that she could be strong enough. So, that's crazy. And I love that we're all breaking those glass ceilings, and we're just like, look, fuck all y'all. We can do all this. That's actually what me and Ashley did. Um, and that's why I think Ashley, me, and Holly's bond is so strong is all of us at the same time were making our own groups and stuff. But me and Ashley, we made an all-girl group. It was, it's never been a male on Sisters of Sale. They've all said, hey, we will or whatever. Yeah. And then it just seemed to be that we always surrounded ourselves with really strong women. And you can tell the ones that aren't strong. Ladies, we're talking to each other here. We've been around each other. We understand we're strong. If they're not strong, they will start being catty, backbiting, and shit like that. And they'll show their true colors. And then they'll go back to doing some shady shit. So it's really hard. And I commend y'all for being strong women in this field, too, you know? It, it takes it takes a lot to be that and just be real, you know? It, it's is very that... hard to be real because... It is. It's like... <clears throat> Like if you if you one way you're you're too stiff and this and that and if you go one way uh-huh. you're too slutty or too uptight or yeah and, and everything that. that yeah and everything that we do is judged so much harder you know with these guys oh and and all of my paranormal guy friends that are out there that happen to be listening to this or hear about this I am not bashing you no. I am so glad that you guys That's have things as easy friends, as you do. They get it. But I watch That's my exactly friends right. be able to flirt with any girl that walks up to their table, and they're perfectly fine. And it's like, oh, isn't that cute? Yeah. But if a guy walks up to my table and I flirt with him, all of a sudden I'm a slut and am I sleeping with him? And oh my god, it's like, come on! Yeah. I have oh an eyelash hole in my eye, and I wink. And... <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, I wink. Like, like you know. Yeah, I it's don't know. I oh. Kelly, you are so right on what you were saying. It is ridiculous. I have watched these all men groups, all of them, a lot of them, Mm -hmm. um, and they'll just flirt the fuck out of these. I have seen women stand beside their fucking boots all day long just to go and get a fucking blowjob behind (laughs) the fucking building. Now, those guys are studs, and they're leaders in our field. We're sitting there, and we put our hand on maybe their arm or something like, oh, God, she's fucking them. She's fucking them. Oh, I'm yeah. thinking, can, I have so many guy friends that's so awesome that are in this field that are just like, you, okay, so recently we're going into burlesque, and somebody came. I don't get things said to me mean. I don't at all, by the way. Like, because I'm pretty chill. I'm not one of those that really go after a lot of people unless you really fucked up. And if you have, most of the time you already know you fucked up, okay? Everybody else does too. I try to give everybody the benefit of the doubt. And somebody said an ugly remark to me. So I shared it on my page, right? And I was such a fucking outpour of great people. I mean, I had like 200 comments, and I thought they were going to be going at me. Because I was like, this is, you You can't disrespect me on my page. I, I mean, mm-hmm. this is what's going to happen. I'm going to talk to you this certain way. You can't do that. Now, Holly, she's more out there. So she does get more people saying stuff and she will you know counteract that whichever way she has to but this was my first ever and i had almost 200 comments which is unreal like i'm like wow and so many messages in my inbox from dudes okay saying yeah. we are so proud of what y'all are doing and yeah. it is women coming all different and i was like blown away so not everybody's an asshole in the show no and but the one yeah that's what I was going to say, too, is that, you know, as much as I was going to say, we get those people out there that we lay a hand on their arm and they freak all out. I have yes. been so lucky that not only do I have these amazingly powerful women around me that we yes. all support each other, but I have got this tremendous amount of guys, you know, uh, the, the, yes. they're, they're wonderful people. And they have never once treated me like the girl. They've never once mm-hmm. treated me 
like, like you were saying, like the person that they're trying yeah. to sleep with or the person that needs to take care of them. I'm just somebody that they respect. And that is huge. And, you know, those it's, I don't know. I get called a snob sometimes because I'm a little selective of who I hang around with, but I want people who are going to be real. And I want people who they don't look at me for what they can get from me or uh-huh. what they think I'm going to give them. Let me know I how want, that feels. <laughs> well, you know, Shay, <laughs> I'm that it changed a lot of things in my life. Uh, yeah. A year and a half ago ish uh, because I put my foot down and said, I'm not going to be used anymore. And yep. it's it's amazing when you weed out that but yet, that energy and you t- decide to just surround yourself with people like Shay and like Misty and Ashley and Holly mm-hmm. and Josh Hurd and um, Chris Case and Dan Class. You know, we I mean, there's awesome these amazing people, people around us. All the oh, people yeah. named and we can go on and on. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. And But those people but, know we are not talking <laughs> about them. Yeah. But. Yeah. yeah. But. Oh, but you should see the looks I get. You should see the looks I get simply because of who my friends are. You know, it's like, oh, God, yeah. come on, people. I'm, glad I'm friends with them. I'm not sleeping with them. This, this is like, yeah. you know, how are women really yeah. treated in the paranormal? Like, That's true. That, that's what people need to see how we're really treated. That's the thing, too. And I want to throw this out there, too. Yes, there's guys who will. That's the first thing they go to, ladies. You know that. If they don't get along with us. If they feel intimidated by us, the first thing they're going to do is they're going to attack us being a whore. Number yeah. one thing. That's the way to shame a woman. In be- oh, well, she is a whore. She's sleeping around. She's doing. That's why she's doing this. Not that we're talented. But I'll tell you the shadiest motherfuckers of all is the women. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. Lord. You get a bunch of weak women, they will fucking tear you down. They get the guys to tear you down. Oh. Amen. Amen. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then they're receiving Lord. that about too. Oh, my God. It is horrible. But they're cattier because these will just stay away from you and be like, yeah, dude, don't go around her. But women will smile in your fucking face the whole time. They're just fucking cutting your throat. Now, yeah. that is, that is, an, oh, God, that is dirty, dirty. No, I, I couldn't but agree more. I've been doing this we ran, uh, not for a long mm-hmm. time, but long enough. And I oh, somehow, God, yeah. you know, shortly after I got in the paranormal, I fell into podcasting and, you know, and, mm-hmm. and it, it never surprised me how people treat you. Like, they say something, they send you a private message and you're like, I don't appreciate this. I don't like it. It's not welcome. Stop it. And right. next thing you know, you're... Enemy number one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's not, it used to be, okay, I got a problem with you, but we got mutual friends, so I'm not going to put that on front street. You know what I'm saying? They'll say, okay, I. well, that's the way I do it anyway. Like, say I had a problem with somebody, me and that person is not going to get along. I'm not telling anybody our business. Because no. I'm not putting our friends in between that. But people don't, people do not, do not respect that anymore. Like, I have this one person that was in my life that was very toxic. Um, actually, they were around the Southern Gypsies. And I noticed every time I would introduce them to somebody, then that person all of a sudden would stop talking to me. And I couldn't understand oh. it. I was like, this, this person's my friend. I don't know what's going on. And then afterwards, I realized, and I see it now, because, you, you know, it's hindsight, because you take them in, because yeah. they show you a size. And then you see that they, like, you'll see them post, and these people, it's like they're the victim. They always play the victim. Oh, yeah. And these people are picking them up. Um, and that, that's kind of sad, too. You know, I, we get a heads up a little bit before any other people get a heads up because we're, like, the vibe's off. Like, I can feel a vibe off in a motherfucking minute. You can be smiling at me, but I'll be like, there's some dirty shit going on back here, so I'm not going to mess with you. And, Kelly, you were saying people thought you were, like, a snob. Sometimes it's not that. Sometimes it's not that. As people who are sensitive, we have to step back because we're trying to figure out ourselves. We'll be getting a bad vibe, but yet these people will be smiling and we're like, okay, we're going to have to step back to try to figure this out. If this is our emotions or some other emotions coming at us, like some kind of gift that we have. Um, So it is a little bit different. So if you see us out there and we do seem to be a little off-putting or just stand back, that's not – it has nothing to do with you in the beginning. It really doesn't. We're trying to figure out our own feelings. 
of what's going on. This is true. This is true. And sometimes we just have to keep a barrier up because of that sensory overload thing. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. And then especially if there's sometimes as we're reading, too, we don't know we're reading um, as much. We'll get these feelings, and it could be from a spirit or something. It could be something trying to communicate, too. So sometimes I, I had a gentleman one time tell me, he was like, you know, I, I, you know, I thought y'all didn't like me. You were kind of distant from the beginning. And I didn't even know I did that. But I knew why I felt, but I didn't know I had let him know that felt that way. And we became, like, really good. I love him to death. His name is Brian. I don't know if y'all have ever seen him do paintings. God, I can't remember his last name. But he does these paintings. He'll hold your hands for a while and do these paintings. And he's amazing. Um, he's a medium and stuff. And he's, he is really cool. But I couldn't, real, I couldn't figure out what I was getting off of him. And I truly believe it was, like, spirits or something around him. Like, he was just... Like, I mean, he's amazing. He, We did a seance and everything with him. I have to figure out his last name. <laughs> it just went dead silent. Did I kill everything? No, 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 no. I, <laughs> I muted it for just a second so I could sneeze, and then everything went silent. <laughs> no, I, I, was, I was putting in my – I just had to put, take my earbuds out to cover up the dog who was spoiled. She needed to be tucked in. <laughs> I'm like, oh shit! What did I just push? No, <laughs> you were you were good, honey. I actually muted mine too because I was going to look at the for Brian's damn name. So I was like, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, I, I, that's what I do. I push a button, shit blows up, and so I thought I, it was just mute on my screen. That's all I did was hit mute so I could sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> that happens to me all the time I'm oh like, oh, my gosh. Shit, what the hell did I do yeah. I'm horrible though I will hit all kinds of crazy shit oh I'm telling oh, you every time, every time we have tried to get Holly on the show yeah, something I... has fucked up so bad you guys have been on the show every time yes. Holly has now I, I like yes. to say this is the two and a half season because there was a half season on another network. But every yeah. time in every season, Holly has tried to be on the show and nope, it does not work. I'm like, too much awesomeness. Sorry. The universe That's cannot <laughs> handle it. That's why we That's had to break you guys up into separate shows. Yeah. Just trying to have all three of you on at the same time. We blow shit up. Oh, <laughs> That's guys, cool, though. That is really cool. You guys are on the best of. On Shay's paranormal chat, the funniest oh. moments and something else for the for the um oh dear and help me what was it coon pe- raccoon penis raccoon yeah, bones. Coon yeah raccoon coon <laughs> dick. thank you <laughs> I was trying to be polite and I couldn't think of it but the I what oh I my re- god we bypassed polite Every- so long ago yeah oh but I gotta tell you something like every time we see a raccoon I'm like you want to get it actually she's like no I'll let that one go. I'm like, you want to get it? Like, on the road. I'll be like, you know, it's got a coon dick. Damn it, I mean, Ashley. Just get that it is. I need to see that. <laughs> Damn we'll it, Ashley. We'll video. You're in trouble next Friday. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got all sorts of things to talk to Ashley about. Uh, coon dick. Oh, God, I know. Naked uh, sandwiches. Probably, yeah, that's the one you need to get her with. You know, She gets oh, so <laughs> feisty about it. <laughs> <laughs> she does. She's like, they do it to me on purpose. Blah, blah, blah. So now it has, but in the beginning, it didn't start like that. Me and Holly are so fucking hot, like like burning up. And Ashley's like freezing in the middle. We're just like, put her in the middle. And it's like, <laughs> <laughs> just hand her. Now. Next time she's complaining about being in the middle of the naked sandwich, just hand her a raccoon penis and move on. <laughs> I know. Some of the like, pictures in the picture. If, if you guys have not, hey Holly, Holly, look at now. Oh God, oh, it's my Holly. Yep. If if you guys haven't seen any of the pictures, they crop them so you can just see their faces. And yeah. You can just see Ashley's face. <laughs> like, what the hell am I in bed with? I have felt that with a couple of my kids' dads. Like, you wake up after ten years and like, oh. What did yeah. I do? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. What the hell is this? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I know. It's funny. We got, uh, we got somebody rented us an Airbnb. It was, it was weird weekends. They were like, look guys, you just got to pay it. We got this whole house. 
and we'd never been to an Airbnb. So it was funny because we got bitched at because he was like, well, I got you three separate rooms and they come in and find us still in the naked sandwich only in one room. <laughs> hey, a family that yeah. sleeps together stays together. That's right. And we were like, we don't need three rooms, but we thank you very much. It was really cool. We don't even need three beds. Airbnb. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, there you go. We'll just take this one big one here. Um, but yeah, it's kind of cool. We have a lot of fun on the road. We are, Lord, we are, we are embarking on some shit this year, y'all. We're going to Era Fuckazona. Who the fuck? I mean, I don't even know what to do there. I don't know. I'm excited. Uh, the same thing you it's, do in every other state. Yeah, Probably. I mean, but only with less clothing because it's really hot there. Really, really hot. Oh, God, yeah. That's what I hear. And then there's going to be deserts. We're like, go, we're going to be like fucking Jim Morris, man. We're going to go out there and just take a walk in the fucking desert, man. I, I'm excited. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and, of course, Holly... It's like Native American drawn, so she's going to find fucking teepee somewhere out there for us. I know this. And I'm going to be sitting in that motherfucker sweating my ass off trying to get to the next level. <laughs> it's going to be a up. sweat <laughs> lodge. Yeah. Oh. Fuck yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, you guys um, the, guy that, <laughs> the guy that... Uh, the guy that we were hanging out with, the really awesome uh, medium, is Brian... Danhausen, I think his name is Danhausen. Danhausen, he's fucking awesome, y'all. He does pictures that are so fucking cool. Like he does your energy, and then he tells you like the things from your past, sometimes past lives, some things from the now. But you leave with this painting. First of all, I was like, it's some stupid shit, y'all. Of course, me over there. I'm like, ah, oh, goddamn, this can't be. Blah, blah, blah. And I watched him, and I was like, here's my money, please take my money and do this for me. <laughs> uh, it was funny <laughs> because. I was like, this is fucking awesome. Um, he literally pegged on stuff that he had no way of knowing. Like, I have um, connected with my spirit guides one time. Um, I know he's there, but I've seen him in one of my dreams one time. So automatically, not telling him or anything, he just starts painting this shit, this and that and other. And then he's like, um, he's like, there's a man that's very close. This is, you know, and he was telling me that. And then, he says there's another woman there that guides me, but I haven't hooked up with her yet. Um, I know about the man very strongly. And he was just telling me this, and he said, you know how to work energy very well. And I said, yeah, I mean, I, I understand how to push it back. Like, if something bad comes, because people don't understand the Southern Gypsies lived in a fucking haunted house for, oh, I guess, I don't know, about a year and a half to two years every weekend we were there. So we had to learn how to push this stuff back because oh, if absolutely. Not, we couldn't sleep. Yeah, you couldn't sleep at night. Like, I mean, we would put sheets up. I know that's stupid, but it was sheets in these doorways. Those were our barriers. And when we went to sleep, we would set our barriers, but you would see them like it looked like a shadow of a little boy standing behind it sometimes. Or they would push on the sheets and they would go forward, but they wouldn't move past these doorways. Or and, and that's the shit that you we didn't realize how much that helped our gifts. Well, I know how to push that back. And he was like, I know you know how to push energy. He's like, but you need to figure out how to send it back to where it came from. You need to ha know how to dissolve this. And I was like, oh, fuck, you done schooled me on some shit right here. I didn't even know anybody knew about me. Um, because when readings get really bad, um, and it's happened a couple times at my house, that when people we read people that are um, have things that are attached to them, not necessarily um, like people always want to say demon and spirits and stuff, not like that. But if they have something that is a negativity around them, it's like a black energy, and that comes with depression and things like that. It's just a different level that comes in when you're trying to read. That will come in my house, and I can feel it when I'm doing distance reading, and I have to push that back. And not a lot of people know that. Um, and it's very, uh, because I wanted to protect my son, you know, he lives here and stuff. My family lives here and I push it back out of the house. Um, sometimes it wakes me up. Like I could be woke up by energy coming in my house. It's the craziest fucking thing I've ever. And as my gift gets stronger, um, cause we're always evolving, we're always growing. I can feel it stronger. So when he pegged that, I was like, how the fuck does this motherfucker know this about me? You know, I'm thinking, oh my God, like I'm a, I'm a reader. How are you reading me like this, you know? Um, and it was kind of cool, though. 
at the end, as this is funny as fuck, because me, Holly, and Ash were getting ours done. And Ashley had went, and she'll have to tell you about her painting, but the painting pretty much said that this bitch was a witch, but they hung her. It was very distinct that they had hung her. And, of course, I was joking. I was like, they hung your ass just to shut you the fuck up, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and I was joking with her on that, and I had got mine done. And it showed that he was like, here's your, he's like, I can tell witches because I could tell that cats, it takes them down through each generation. He's like, you were burned. Like, he was telling me. So Holly's getting ready to go up. I was like, listen here, okay? You ain't a goddamn sister unless I see one of these scorch marks or either be hung, you know, joking with her and stuff. And she was like, what ever, man? So you just shut the hell up, you know, how she talks. And I'm like, you know. And I was like, whatever, Holly. But she didn't get that, okay? Now, she didn't get it, but we we know Holly is through and through with us and been with us for years, by the way. We know that we have been reincarnated together. We understand this, you know, that bond we have. Um, So I was just fucking with her, but what he did see in her is really fucked her up. Like, nobody's seen it. Um, Now, this dude doesn't know us, hasn't really worked with us before. We've just been put together by Weird Weekend um, for an event. Like, they were like, okay, y'all come for this event. We'll do blah, blah, blah. Um, And he picked this Native American, okay, that was her guide. Sorry if y'all can hear that. That's my thing. Um, It's a dog. (laughs) Um, But he said this guide. It was a Native American, blah, blah, blah. Um, The thing of it is, is... um, I'm the only one that I think has ever seen that. And I'm sitting there watching, and I was like, fuck, yeah, I told you. And the only time I've ever seen this spirit around her is when she does her healing. She always tells about the intuitive healing part. Um, And I was like, okay, whatever, because me and Ashley have done Reiki. We are actually third-level Reiki. Um, And I wanted to understand the movement of energy, you know. But anyway, he picked up on that. And I said, Holly... I told you, he only shows himself when she's healing, and I believe he guides her to do her healing. It's cool as fuck, though. So I I recommend that, dude. If anybody's out there, it's worth it. And he's cool as fuck because he's like, look, my readings aren't outrageous because I wouldn't be able to pay for these readings people are charging. Um, Like, out there now. What's his name again? Give him a proper shout-out. Okay, hold on. Gotta go back, girl. Hold on one second. Holly's saying... um, she loves Brian. He is effing amazing. I I don't yeah. know why when I reread the word fuck, I say effing. I can say <laughs> it, but... Um, I just want to give him Bri- a proper shout Bri- out. That's all. Um, yes. Yeah. Um, Brian Danhausen. He right. is... Danhausen is his name. He's fucking awesome. He really... Um, that's the one that was like, yeah, y'all were kind of standoffish. And I looked at Holly and I was like... I really stand out. She's like, yeah. And I'm like, oh man, this motherfucker is on it. He really connected with Ashley too, because um, she and him see certain, uh, certain types of readers see more creatures than others. Okay. Um, And her and him see more creatures. And it was cool as fuck. I mean, she was like, oh, ding. Like, cause he was explaining shit she was seeing. And not a lot of people do that because, there is certain amount of people that will see. You just connect with different energies. So when she right. can st- get one that connects with her like that, she was like, holy fuck, I really like this dude. And that actually is the one that stands back more than any of us. Um, so she really liked him. If y'all ever get to meet him, he's super, super awesome. But, yeah, he is really, really great and stuff like that. But hopefully we will cross paths. Hopefully we get to see a lot of cool shit this year, ladies. I am excited to be. Are you going to, Kelly, are you going to be at Mike uh, Rickenstrucker's event? <laughs> uh, yes. He, <laughs> sorry, it just cracks me up every time you guys say his last name. Yeah, he reached out to me um, a little while ago and asked if I'd come and speak at the event again. So, yeah. Yep. Yay. I'll be there. I wouldn't want to miss it. And this year, I don't even have to choose between the two events because they're on different weekends. So, whew, that was good. But, yeah. Wouldn't miss it. It was super fun. And come on, a weekend with you guys? Hell yeah, I'm going to be oh, there. <laughs> fuck yes. That is so awesome. I'm so excited about that. The same one. Record Schnecker. One, girl. Record uh, we can't I one, want right? to get out to Fairy Plantation with you guys sometime. Because <gasps> ever since oh, Mike told me about that one, it has just, mm-hmm. it's been calling me. It's like, I need to go there. I need to go there. And I just, 
I haven't got it done yet, but yeah, but you, come on. It's, it's I know beautiful. the energy. Oh my God. The energy you got to tell me when it is again. Um, yes, yeah, you guys should um, tell me when it is, but oh, hell yes. We got to go to karaoke again. <laughs> oh my God. Did somebody say karaoke? Holly. Awesome. We got to do like a line dance and everything. Did, we, we did. Do, can we do a paranormal buzz night of karaoke? Just oh singing. God! You want to hear me? Yes, honey. If you want to hear me, Catterwall, I'll give it all I, I got. I can make, <laughs> dude. I'm co-owner. I can make a whole new show for Paranormal Buzz Karaoke Man. I can... Oh my God, that would be awesome. You should make it like a game show, right? I'm telling you. Yeah, the you can get. It's so quick. I can't from... even. Yeah. I can't even keep up. Sorry, guys. I'm trying. Um. All right. So, <laughs> Miss Misty. You yes, have spoken highly of everybody else. Yeah. Can we talk about you for a minute? Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, honey. Yeah. <laughs> no, and that's not a bad thing. That. Every one of you Southern yeah. Nazis do the same thing. You are so mm -hmm. gracious in throwing shout outs. Yeah. Giving, you know, and, you know, mm -hmm. what? let's talk about you. All right. Oh, thank you, honey. Oh, I appreciate okay. that. But you know why we do that, right? We feel like if we could pass that positivity on and just keep going, we do. And it's I southern agree. thing. It I, really I, is. I, I so agree. Mm -hmm. But I, I, you know, yeah. give me, give me five minutes of you, and then you can talk about five minutes okay. of somebody else. You know, <laughs> yeah. I'll work I, with you. Trust me, honey. All right. But each one okay, of you, I miss you each one of you are uh -huh. awesome. And each one of you deserve Aww. your individual attention, which is why we've been working on this for so many months now. So, yes. go ahead. Let's look. tell people who you are. <laughs> okay. I am Missy. I feel like I'm an AA, maybe. Um, I am Missy Connor, and I've been an alcoholic for many years now. And I I'm enjoy long Gypsy walks on the beach. For many and... years now. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was going to say it. I enjoy being an alcoholic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I have I have a, a very soft spot for big burly men and uh, yeah that's I, <laughs> and naked women. Um, okay <laughs> okay so I am um, I'm Misty Connor um, I started off in the paranormal like I said as um, people probably have heard this story a lot but I will keep preaching it um, when I first came into the paranormal we were. Um, we didn't know that there was groups out. Um, you'll probably hear Ashley talk about how me and Ashley and another friend were just cruising around looking at graveyards and didn't know that it was against the law to look after dark. So this cop pulls us over. He's like, what are you doing? How am I supposed to say at that time? you got to remember the only show that was even on TV is Ghost Hunters. Yeah. People do not believe in it. I mean, this was when they first came you out. You just ripped I'm up like, your oh, shirt shit. and yelled demon. He would have got it. <laughs> probably we're in the south yeah <laughs> um but he said you know what pull out of this graveyard and come down here at this church with me and i'm thinking oh lord um i'm yeah. like oh gosh he said listen i seen your recorder in your car and he busted me out and i'm just like oh shit man so that man talked to us for an hour he was actually on a team which nice. then i find out now of the policemen in the paranormal is actually they they do. A lot of them do come to the paranormal because of their own experiences. So when he gave us leaves, he was like, look, apply to be in these groups. He was like, these are some of the groups that I have hung around with. And then he got called away. And me and Ashley were like, oh, shit. So without us actually doing that, which I don't recommend anybody doing after dark or investigating or whatever, just check your local laws. But when that happened, we were like, oh, this is so cool. So we applied to this one team. At the time, it was VPS, Virginia Paranormal Society. I think they're still around, actually. I think they came back. But um, they were a tax associated. They might still be. Um, and we had to go through tests, and we had to study the history of the paranormal life way back when um, Houdini and the spiritualist movement. And so it wasn't like people decided to just start a group. Now, we had to... We had thick binders. We had, I mean, it was like they put us through shit. Yeah. But I appreciate that now. Um, we had, I don't know if y'all have ever seen Moonshine and Madness. It was an episode on Ghost Hunters. But it was about Major Graham's mansion. And people, me and Ashley, I guess, were kind of spoiled when we came in. Because a lot of times when people start groups, 
they have to find places to go investigate and they have to, you know, try to go to graveyards to do a lot of investigating, like experimenting. We came into this big ass house because that's the home of Virginia VPS at the time. So that's where we got to cut our teeth and go hunting. And it was fucking amazing. That's why we always kept close with that. We love the bigger locations that we can lock down because that's what we started with. Um, and as things grew, we parted ways with VPS and started our own group because we realized, no offense to VPS, okay, because we, uh, we do like those guys and stuff. It was a male-dominated, okay, mm-hmm. and it seemed harder for women at the time. So we thought, you know what? We're going to fucking start a group just with women. I actually started the page, which I don't even do anything on it now, and I feel bad about that. Um, but women who investigate the paranormal, it was just, uh, you know, it, it just is uh, now I just share stuff from the Southern Gypsies and stuff. But at the time, it was a way for me to try to connect a lot of women. This was years ago. Um, me and Ashley started Sisters in Salem. So when that started, um, we realized there was a time that we cut off doing home cases. Holly, because of where she was, and she was down in the south and stuff like that, like the southern southern part of Virginia, touching Kentucky. They didn't have big locations, so she was doing more home cases. We, I, me and Ashley were like, oh, fuck, no, because up here people started getting crazy, and they started mm-hmm. doing a little stalking. And then there was a man who wanted us to come uh, investigate, and he said there was a demon in his pants. I mean, he was willing to pay. He was like, I would give well, you money to be here. I would give oh, you yeah. Money. yeah. But you guys have to come yeah. alone got, or no guys with you. Yeah, yeah. I've had those calls before, too. Exactly. And you got to remember, our team got down to just me and Ashley at one time because we all know how people come in and out of the paranormal. So we were like, fuck this. We're pulling all reins on home cases. Because then it got to, they were watching TV shows thinking that's what was going to show up. And then they would fake their own goddamn evidence. I've never mm-hmm. in my life. And then I knew that people, it was changing when these locations normal fucking house that would call us in for help. We're now charging these investigators to come into these houses. It wasn't big grand places. It was a trailer and they were going to charge you to even come help them. What? And I thought, whoa. Something's Wait, crazy. what? Yes. No. That's no, no, no. That's not yeah. how this works. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm telling you. It was a place down there. There's a place. Mama Pat, we here. did something wrong growing up. We should have charged admission yes. to that freak show house. <laughs> Um, yeah. and it was crazy, and I thought, oh, my God, things have changed in the field. So that's when we pulled up. We just we were like, fuck this. We're going to – we will pay to go lock down locations to do experiments and learn our gifts and help. And we like to help in historical places. And, like, St. Albans Sanatorium, we were really blessed with being around them and, like, all these big notorious places because we, we were like, look, we'll help y'all guys. We know y'all need to stay open. People don't understand – they bitch about paying for these prices. And I believe it should be reasonable. Don't get me wrong. I really do. I don't believe I should have to pay $1,000 to investigate or whatever. But you do got to understand that sometimes that's only the way that these places can stay up and is by charging right. a little bit. Right. Yeah. So I don't mind supporting them. I don't. But it And it's not great, free you know? for them to have those places. You know, I mean, if there's a, exactly. if you can go in and you can flip on a light. They have a charge. Yeah. And I think even if they don't have the amenities like the running water or the electricity or the air or the heat, you have to remember that they're allowing people to come onto their location. And those places have to carry insurance. And that's expensive. Exactly. So, yeah, these places. And then you take in the personal side of it that, you know, Rebecca's on here and she'll be the first one to tell you this takes up a lot of her time. You know, she's got it every time a team comes in. Somebody has to meet them there. Somebody has to walk them through it. Somebody yep. has to go in afterwards and clean up after they've left, regardless of how clean they've been. Somebody's got to make sure yep. it's locked up. There's, there's, It's a commitment for her or somebody that she arranges to be there every time somebody wants to go in. So, yeah, it's a job. And why should you not get paid yes. for that job? Exactly. Yeah. Anyways. I couldn't have said. That is perfect. No, that is perfect the way you said that. But I, and it really bothers me because there's a lot of people that go on there like it used to be. I, I haven't seen as much in, as lately, but people used to really bitch. Why they got to charge the – they shouldn't be charging people to investigate, blah, blah, blah. And I thought, it, they got to keep those doors open. And then what will happen is these – I started at one time people – because they didn't want to pay. They didn't think they should yeah. have to pay, these groups. And um, that all of a sudden these places were starting to say, okay, we're going to have to close our doors. And then they would get pissed off because they were closing their doors. And I was like, 
okay, do you don't understand business? And I mean, this they have to have some income. They can't just let you yep. do whatever you want for free. Yep. So, um, that really let us see the back side of the paranormal, which is really cool. You know, it really oh, is. Yeah. And people don't, if you want your local place to stay available, fucking go pay that $20 to get a tour or something. I mean, and it will help them stay relevant and out there. But yeah, anyway, but so then, then that happened. Around yeah. here, people bitch because you're not yeah. allowed to do paranormal investigations at places. Because they're just like, oh. you know, nose in the air. Yeah, we get a lot of that here, too. Yeah, we really do. I mean, here in Iowa, it's kind of hit or miss if the people believe in this stuff. So, like, there's a lot Mm -hmm. of, especially if it's a state-owned location or if it's a place that's got a board that you have to go through, trying to get in front of them and say, hey, we want to come in and paranormal investigate. They look at you like they you've walked in and said, hey, we'd like to come in and, you know, take your spleen or something like that. <laughs> no, we just want to come in and walk around Kelly. in the dark. I'm moving in with Kelly in 2021. She doesn't know it yet. But oh. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay then. <laughs> no, just. Uh, Guess we're going to have to work on that naked sandwich. Um. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, I'll third. sleep on the couch. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you take all the fun out of things. Oh, oh, well, if that's room and board, I'm good. Okay, I'm in. <laughs> we'll just feed you some margaritas. It'll be perfectly fine. Oh, God, here we yeah. go. I'll never live that Yeah. Oh, honey, it's probably still coursing through your veins as many as you drink. Oh, but you were impressed at <laughs> how many I drank. I was. Well. I was. But you know what? As much as you and I drank, uh, um, these, the, the, Misty and her, her girlfriends there, they keep up with us very well. Oh, I, I can't wait. Let me tell <laughs> Those you. girls were drinking okay. away, and I'm like, damn, I can be me? friends with these girls. <laughs> drinking tequila? Oh. You know, the, oh the one God, that yeah. cracks me up with, yeah, no, it's just craziness. Craziness. I'm it's, not keeping we, up with yeah. that. I'm sorry, guys. I am reading, but I can't type and laugh at the same time. So we I need a working animal is all I know. If I'm going to go out with Shay or if I'm going out with the gypsies or, God forbid, all of us yep. go out together, there needs to be a fucking well, Mama Pat together. was with us when we went out to She so, so we, and so you we see were what a good job. She was, she was, she, 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 she let something slide because I was there, but. We were well behaved <laughs> because she was there. <laughs> you yeah. act like Mama Pat yeah. keeps us in check. She's Mama, no. she Ooh, Mama Pat is a party of herself. Was she is. It. She was enjoying every moment of it, and I love you, she, Mama Pat. I love you. Oh my God, she Mama she's Pat a is dude. awesome. She's she's deep down a partier. I know she is. I she's, mean, she's I feel a closet like partier. Don't let her go. Where do you think I get it from? <laughs> It's in my blood. Yeah, okay. I love Mama Pat. <laughs> ben, she is so awesome. I mean, I want to see. Really well. yeah. All right. I, I was just going to say, I have exactly. never seen a cat like shit face drunk, though. And this is a goal of mine. We have to make this happen sometime. What? Who? Yes. Mama Pat? My mom. Oh. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh yeah. Please, this please. summer. I'm in. It should yes. be a goal. We should just throw a party here. For Mama Pat, and the goal will be, we're going to get her drunk off her ass. Oh, my God, please. If I'm not there, please video this. I'm not I mean, this. Uh, We may have to do it out on the East Coast. I don't know. Anyway, sorry. The East Coast, oh, you have to come Lord, to me. I've yeah. a rough year. Feel bad for me. Come here. Oh, my God. I mean, I would love that. That would be amazing. New Hampshire I mean, is beautiful in the fall, let me tell you. Oh, uh, my God. It is. This is so oh, and if you give me enough tequila, I'll snuggle naked. Oh, Mr. Nielsen is okay, calling yes. Mama Pat out on her mint juleps. <laughs> uh, all I saw is Will Ooh, Barter, this. and I'm like, what? Who? What? Who um, say that? My, my, okay, so I'm talking about Mama Pat. She's going to hate me. I don't care. I mean, I do care, but she loves me, so we'll get over this. The woman cannot hold mm-hmm. her liquor. She cannot. One margarita, and she's, like, drunk texting me, right? Yeah. So we, <laughs> we went on a trip down to New Orleans, and we were going to stay at Oak Alley Plantation. 
and wow. their specialty drink is mint juleps. So we had ordered a pitcher of mint juleps for us, and there was four of us that were traveling. So we poured us all a glass. And for anybody who hasn't ever had a mint julep, it's like bourbon, 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 and they throw in a mint leaf just to make it not be bourbon. <laughs> um, it was horrible. <laughs> it was horrible. She drank half the pitcher all by herself, and she was perfectly fine. <laughs> perfectly fine i'm like how can you drink that antifreeze yeah so let me tell you, Mama you Pat, i love mama pat i love her she knows i love her right but by the fourth bar we went to that night oh there goes my i sorry here we go sorry um my my camera fell um by the fourth <laughs> bar she's shaking her head no like in in disdain but she has a smile on her face like it's the time of her life. And I'm like, you can't have both ways, son. Love you, but no. Nope. <laughs> you either enjoying yourself exactly. or, you know, you know. Um, no, you the time. You have to put a little southern on it, honey. It's got to be a mint julep. What's in a mint, mint julep? julep? What's in it? Bourbon. Oh, I know, but I know. Burb, burb, yeah, got a little mint in it. That's all I know. And Honest I to God, there is no mint in it. They threw a fucking mint leaf in there to be able to call it a mint julep. <laughs> it was a, it was a leaf, one itty bitty, one inch leaf. <laughs> yeah, it was horrible. This was before I became a bourbon drinker. Now I drink bourbon and whiskey because I've been corrupted. Mama See? Pat is shaking it, her head no right over. now. I'm telling <gasps> you, I can pick. I up. have to start talking nice about Mama Pat. I just read. Remember, I could tell stories about you too, Kelly. I love you, Mom. Of course, oh, she's never her. done anything wrong. Nothing at all. She's an angel. <laughs> I miss that. No, no, no. Chat is so busy. I'm missing so much. I'm sorry, guys. Love you guys. Oh, the tights. The tight snatches were in Gettysburg. That was my trip to Gettysburg, no, Darren. But wasn't that in a different state? It was in Pennsylvania. No, that was Maryland. Yeah. My, I, I was enjoying tight snatches in Maryland. Yeah. Yeah. I was enjoying yep. you enjoying tight snatches in Maryland. I shared my tight snatch with you, Shay. Come on. You did. I, I, I shared, shared it. my tight snatch with the table. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody should enjoy a tight snatch. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> at, least, never... at least once in your life, you know? And if, yeah. if you have never yelled out to a bartender... Bartender, I would like a tight snatch. You are not living correctly. <laughs> I don't know why we didn't get thrown out of any of those bars. I mean, it wasn't know. even drunk. It was just that we were naming funny drinks. And <laughs> I might have been a little drunk. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Anywho. <laughs> oh. So where are you guys going to be this year? Where else do I get to run into you guys besides <laughs> all I know. Um, oh my gosh. Okay, so we're ooh, taking ooh. off our year. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, this coming weekend, we're actually going to get together because um, it's our birthday. The Southern Gypsies are turning two this weekend. Um, January 13th is actually official day, but we are actually just two, which is amazing because we've done so much shit in those two years. It's ridiculous. Um, but before, but me, Holly, and Ashley have been together for years and years, but. Um, so we turn to this weekend and then we're going to be going to the 360 house, which is in Richmond, Virginia or Mechanicsville, Brian tells us, and it's owned by Ryan and I think Dennis, um, from, he has a group here. Um, he is helping him with tours and stuff like that. So they, they run it. I'm excited about it. We've heard a lot about it. So we're going to be hosting, people can come get readings. Um, we're going to do a seance there. Kelly, you know about our seances. We love seances. Um, it tends to bring yep. in the energy really, really good. Oh, yeah. Um, it's crazy. Like, some of our best stories is at your event, Kelly, uh, because it was me staring at a fucking uh, shelf for 20 minutes. Um, <laughs> saying, I don't see anything at all, y'all. What the hell fucking y'all fucking? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody had to turn on the damn light, and I'm just staring at a fucking bookcase um because it was all dark and stuff but that was an amazing event because i got to see a lady experience something for the first time and she fucking ran past me screaming i was like oh my god like it was so cool because we had done seances and and then we were like look we're gonna walk out we thought people were coming down and stuff like that nobody was coming down to our floor um kelly had it split on different floors mm -hmm. and we had what the second floor or something kelly yeah um yeah. and 
it was amazing. Um, you could feel the spirit come into the room. Um, it, it was just so, really cool. So we decided to go down to this room right beside it. And when we did, you could feel the spirits in this room. And they kept seeing them walk. And a little bit of moonlight came through this doorway. And they could see them, like people just walking in and out. There was nobody there but these spirits. So I heard somebody walk very distinctly down the hallway. It was almost like it was a principal energy. I thought, actually, she was the one that stayed in the room beside us, and I thought she was the one that had walked out. So me and a couple people go to check, and Ashley's like, no, I've been here the whole time. And I'm like, I heard this motherfucker right here. I know he walked by. Um, mm-hmm. So as I'm going back to where I came from, this woman is screaming, running by me. Oh! And I thought, what the fuck is happening in this room? And she had saw her first shadow person. She was know. like, she had saw somebody just walk, and she she kept seeing movement, but this one apparently was big, and this one was like, they kept saying, look, this is what's happening, and that she left that place a believer, let's just say that. Mm-hmm. Um, that was cool as hell, and to see somebody, like, get their first paranormal experience, I forget that, because we've been in the fucking field so long, but that was probably a highlight, it was to see that, and then that's another, that's- like, Mr. Hitter, too, yeah. That's why I love doing these events, though, is because you get to to have you you put a situation out there where people can come and have those experiences where maybe they wouldn't otherwise because they don't have a team to go investigate with or they don't have the the funds available to rent a place by themselves. And I love doing the events Mm -hmm. just for that reason. Oh, God, yeah, it was awesome. That's when they were like, I didn't want to turn on. We didn't turn on any lights. Now, you got to remember, this is all in the dark while all this is happening. And they were like, okay, Misty, we'll get a chair, and you can watch this. So I picked up a chair, put it down somewhere, didn't know where. I said, God darn y'all, it is solid black here. I don't know what the fuck y'all. And they just were like, ooh, ah, like they were watching fireworks. And I'm sitting here for 20 (laughs) fucking minutes, and I'm like, not a goddamn thing happening, y'all. You need to fucking stop doing this. And somebody turned their light on me, and I had put my fucking chair straight to a bookshelf and was just staring at that fucking bookshelf. I didn't even know. I was in the fucking dark. They were like, oh, my God. So then, of course, I moved my chair, and I'm right there with them. Ooh, ah. Like, you know? <laughs> then I could see everything, but I literally was like, y'all are fucking crazy in this room. There's nothing happening, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So, yeah. You feel really smart after that, man. I got to tell you. You, um, you know so- what, though? But some. It's funny, though, because, I mean, sometimes it's just pitch black and you absolutely can't see what you're doing or who you're talking to or anything. But there's other times that that's just where the energy is coming from. Or I'll be, like, talking to somebody who's in a room and there's a wall between us. So, yeah, I am just standing there talking to the damn wall. And if anybody's watching, I have to look just absolutely bonkers. But but I notice... for me, sometimes when I'm out doing an investigation, I realize I'm walking around with my eyes closed anyways. Do you find yourself doing that? Oh, gosh. Yeah. Well, or either um, you'll walk in rooms and you'll have your hands straight out and you won't realize it. Like, we didn't know that, but that's like a point. You'll notice that readers will do that automatically. They feel the energy in the room before they use their eyes. That's what they're mm-hmm. doing. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I've been there and done that too. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. It's just like you feel the place out with your third eye rather than your real eye. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. So that Definitely. was really cool and stuff. But some of the places we're going, let's see, we have been invited to come to the women's ex, but paranormal ex, I think it's called, we are going to be in, that's in Moundsville, West Virginia. So we're really excited about that. Me and Ashley have been there twice. But I think this is actually, I mean, Holly's first time going there. So we're really excited about that. A nice lady named Jen um, is really cool. And she is in the paranormal. They put that together. It's a women's, um, a women's paranormal retreat. It's only women. I think guys can go too, but it, it just spots like women. And I think they do a male one too. So I think that's really cool. Um, we've been ex- um, invited to go, I think it's to a Kentucky Energy Expo. Um, that was really cool because... We find, like, I just recently got something in my inbox where they, somebody saw me on LinkedIn, which I don't even use that shit no more, y'all, um, and she wants me to go to a Greensboro um, Women's Expo, and I'm like, oh, fuck, that's fancy. <laughs> um, so I'm excited about that. I'm excited that Mainstream is actually inviting us to come do these things now, you know? Um, and then we get to go to Arizona, uh, Vulture City. Um, we're really, really excited about that because I think their ghost town is in a ghost town. And we get to see some of our friends out that away. 
Um, and we'll probably just keep on heading on over to California just to be going to California, you know. Um, and then we're going to um, have some other places. I know I'm forgetting so many. Holly's probably out there. Miss Dad, Vulture, I'm Vulture City, Paragon. Ooh, ooh, me, me. What? I'm, Vulture, Vulture City, Paragon. Yeah, Vulture City, Paragon. Yes. I know another one, too. What? Which one? You guys are coming to Iowa. Uh Yes. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. Yes. I love my Iowa people. I'm very vocal. Iowa people are the best. I'm so stinking excited to be working with you guys for those. (laughs) It's going to be fun. I know. Oh, my God. Um, Steve Weeks, right? Is yep. that the one you're working with this with? Yep. Yes. yep, yep, yep. He's yep. fucking awesome. He is fucking awesome. He was like, how do I get y'all ladies? We need to get y'all ladies back out here. We're like, fuck, we'll come. And it's so awesome because people we met at your event, Kelly, is like, we're fucking coming. We're, they've reached out to us, and they're just like, oh, my God. So it's like a running total of all these Iowans that I fucking love. I really do. Um, y'all know corn gets me horny, so I'm, I'm in this <laughs> Born in Iowa in another life, I'm telling you. No, they are, and it's weird. Like, you have an underground metaphysical, yeah. uh, like, yeah. energy out there. It's oh, yeah. fucking crazy. I don't know what it is. Yeah, it is. I don't know if it, it's, like, the fumes that the corn gets off. I didn't even know that corn gets off. It's the gas off. fumes. It's the gas fumes. Yeah, I didn't even fumes. know they gave that off. <laughs> I didn't know that. So, um, yeah. Is somewhere in your traveling, we should check your schedule and see if you guys can make it out to one of our expos sometime. Oh then we God. could we go out and get Mama Pat drunk. Uh, oh, my God, yes. Out. Mama well, Pat is not getting <laughs> drunk without Shay. We're going to have to start a GoFundMe to get Shay out here so she can party with us, too. Somebody's got to babysit us. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I'm oh not the God. babysitter. No, 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 no. <laughs> No, we would love that. Let me tell you, honey. Okay, so some of the things that have changed with the Southern Gypsies. I mentioned to y'all that we actually, you know, got to stay in a haunted house and, and develop our skills. Um, we, I am very thankful for that in my personal journey. Um, whatever relationships are different now, I don't really give a shit about. I, I, I'm really thankful for that part, you know. Um, so being with that said, probably halfway through last year, Oh, God. What a year makes. Uh, let me tell y'all. A year ago, we were signed in a contract that was uh, supposedly people had spent $10,000 coming out here to film us, and they were trying to sell our pilot. You know, they, they were trying to, our sizzle reel. Um, and then about halfway through the year, things went different between everybody, and just decided that me, Ashley, and Holly, that was a bond that wasn't going anywhere, never was, never will. And we decided to, you know, the Southern Gypsies are us through and through, but we picked up roots. Um, just like a normal gypsy, we kind of were like, okay, we're going to just keep traveling. So we have no home location now. And it's really great to see the communities around us, like, rally and say, hey, you want to come here? You want to come here? We were like, oh, fuck. We didn't even realize. That's where yep. Steve came in. And he was like, look. We'll bring y'all's asses out here. We'll bring you here. So it's really cool how much we loved what we were doing in that home location. I think that spirit and the universe was like, you know what? It's time for y'all bitches to move, and we're going to do this right now. Well, and, and Holly said it, it right. Like, Holly put in chat, mm-hmm. she says what she's trying to say is spirit gets rid of bad shit and bad people, and then that, oh, I'll add to that, that opens the doors, and the energy absolutely yes. shifts, and all of a sudden, here's these opportunities set in front of you that you never expected, yes. and you realize exactly. that entire time how much you've been being held back. Oh, my God. A- Kelly, you know A- this. effing man. Yes. yes, I do. That's why yes. I'm able to vocalize Kelly. it. <laughs> yes. We have set, me and Kelly set um, at her event the last time, and we were going on so much of the same fucking path because she was developing and doing things. And we were, we had already been doing these events and stuff, but we had been keeping them. We would travel, but we would always come home to what we thought was home. And now we are free spirits. Like this is so crazy. Y'all So we're coming in for our weekend. Okay. Um, Our birthday. And (laughs) Holly was just like, look, we're going to be around this area that used to be our home location. These motherfuckers that I love so much came out of the woodwork and was like, can I get a reading? We're coming to see you. All right. And I'm thinking, we're in a fucking hotel. 
and these bitches are coming running it. It's going to look like we're either hookers, okay, or either, <laughs> <laughs> like just going to have the biggest party this hotel has ever seen. So I'm excited for either way. Um, because we're going to have a hotel room with a revolving door. People are going to be coming in and going out. But that, you don't understand how much we fucking love that. Because it re- we realize that it doesn't matter what house you have. You make it home wherever you go. And people right down the street from where we fucking used to be are finding a way to find us. And I tell you what, that's fucking priceless. Yep. And that's something that I'm going to take with me everywhere. That, that's why you know you're on the right path. So you're right. The universe does get rid of the shit, and whether and we will fight it, Lord, it's weird. Like I probably fought it pretty hard, you know. But when it was time to go and move, I was the one that was like, "All right, deuces, bitch, I'm out," um, because I knew that I gave it everything I could to try to keep it where it should have been. And the universe was just like, "Fuck this shit, we're gonna move y'all, bitches." And and then we were like, "We're still not moving." They were like, "Okay, fine, we're gonna kick y'all's asses," and then boom. Um, and we have not regretted, I don't think, one bit of it since because we've got to meet so many fucking cool people. Well, like, I want to take y'all on a trip. It. And that it, 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 it's the coolest shit. Like, we, I don't know if y'all know, but we got to do some crazy shit last year that normal people probably shouldn't. Like, a group that, of psychics that are traveling around. We got to go to New Orleans. We got to go to Trans World, which is really weird. That's where we fell in love with sushi. Um, it was weird. We got to, how we got, I lost my vision on one of these goddamn trips. I had to get a bandage over my eye. I'm not joking. My cornea ripped off. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, yeah, man. But that was cool because we were in a Latin bar at one time on that one trip. They had to lead me around like I was Stevie Wonder, y'all. I'm not joking. <laughs> and Holly. <laughs> I just called. Just say. Yes. <laughs> I'm serious, y'all. Um, they had to take me to an ER in fucking Illinois. We, they were like, how did you get here? We're like, fuck, we don't know. Just treat me. It was crazy. Holly danced with a blind man in the uh, an underground Spanish, uh, like, fucking bar in St. Louis. <laughs> I mean, it was some fucking weird shit. And we got to go and meet so many fucking cool pe- I wouldn't have traded it for anything in the world. Um, so we're just really blessed. So if anything is like last year... We're, we're headed down the right path this year. I don't even know. Y'all, we got picked up at a fucking Texas roadhouse and took into a Japanese full shrine. Y'all, I'm not, we can't make this shit up. Like, we can't make it. Up. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I don't know yeah. if Kelly, like some I, I don't know if Kelly Stefan is still in here. Um, I mm-hmm. think they have a show tonight. Um, but just in case yeah. she's still in here and has not left yet, I just want to say happy birthday. Her birthday is tomorrow. So Aww. happy 21st birthday, Kelly Stefan. Oh, she gets a drink. Yeah. She's going to kill me for saying 21, but you know. Hey. <laughs> That's cool as fuck, though. That yeah. really is. But like, 21 again. God. I'm 21 times two, so she could be 21 times two, right? Oh, I love that 21 times two. I told everybody the wrong year last year. I told everybody I was a year older. I didn't fucking know, man. I thought I did that for I did that for 10 years. (laughs) Yes, I fucking told them the wrong year. I gave myself a year. I did too. Fuck that! I'm gonna take two years off. I did too. Yeah. I think it's weird, and people are like, how can you forget your age? I'm like, God damn it, I don't live by my age, bitch. I live by my soul. <laughs> I know exactly how old I am, and I am very proud to be 29. Thank you very much. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm 23, so I'm happy. There you go. <laughs> That's, That's right, I you, Kelly, Stefan. <laughs> Both my Kellys. <laughs> she, thinks, uh, yeah. she thinks 21 was a few decades ago, but, you know. I don't know, because she seems 21 to me. It's all relevant. It's all about how we feel, right? All right, guys. So we've been on for over an hour. (laughs) Oh, good God. Oh, we have. Oh, my God. So, and I know us. We'll keep talking for a few minutes. Yep. Um, So why don't you throw out where everybody can find you, Misty? Yes. All your social media. Um, Yes. Okay. So me personally... Um, you can find me on, 
um, Misty Connor on Facebook. Um, but I do run our Instagram account just under me and Ashley, which is the Connor Sisters. You can also find us on the Connor Sisters Paranormal Party. That was our pod show. Um, and that occasionally we say, we're going to bring it back. And then we, God, it is a lot of work doing this, guys. Oh, it is. Not, no, really? Show. Amen to that one. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. It is a lot. So we never, with everything we have going on, we never end up doing it. But we will one day, maybe. Um, and then, of course, I always have my hand. Uh, we are three ladies that own um, the Southern Gypsies. So you can always get in touch with me there. Um, Southern Gypsies on Instagram, too. I think we have a tweet or two. I'm not for sure. We you don't do. really use it, but I think you it might be You do have a tweeter. Oh, yes. You say tweeter, I, I say twatter. <laughs> it's Southern Gypsies with a Z. I call oh, it awesome, twatter. Oh, awesome, awesome. <laughs> um, we also have a website, which is the Southern Gypsies, um, dot org. I do believe. Um, and, uh, yeah, you can reach us. Listen. We are loud and proud. And if you get in touch of any, so you get in any of the three gypsies, uh, we can get in touch with each other. So if you have Ashley as a friend, and then you say, "Hey, Misty, this she'll get in touch with me," or Holly does the same. Um, if, but if you, you are really, really, know. really, really important, they might delete one friend just to add you. Yes, I did. <laughs> I thought we were already friends. I swear I, to God, Kay, I thought we were already friends. I, I, and like I was I said, like, <laughs> I, 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 I was like, yeah, I don't know what happened. I got overruled from one of those foreign men. I don't know. Yeah, did Holly tell you that? Okay, so I got an influx of fucking Middle Eastern men, and I don't know how. <laughs> and Holly's like, where are all these coming from? And I'm like, I don't know, Holly. And she was like, they keep asking me now. And so she said today, she was like, delete one of them foreign men and add Shay in here, damn it. And I'm like, I didn't know. That. I thought we were already friends. I'm serious. I, I don't know if it was um, that so, yeah. uh, uh, interim account or something you had. We were at one time. I don't know what happened. You might, maybe you got tired of my whining and... I don't know. No! I never, when I think about it, I never saw one fucking post of yours. So I was like, wait a minute. Yeah. I do have another account that I got locked out of. And yeah. it is me, okay? And I recently got back in it, and then I'm like, ah, fuck <clears> this. <throat> I want my other one back. So then I just switched out of it. So if you don't get me on that one, y'all got to come over to the other one. And I will delete, I will delete a Middle Eastern man just for y'all. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right, one more very, yeah. very important question, Missy. You ready? Yes. Yes. All right. Yes. Are you focused? I I'm, I'm laser focused. All right. If what is I I don't even know if I can say this without laughing, but I'll try. What is? <laughs> <laughs> see? Yeah. My dog's whining. Sorry. Um. What is the one object in the whole wide world that you would yeah. never want haunted? Oh my God! Thank you, dear well, and bus. By out. the way. Okay, I'm gonna take this out dirty and nasty. Of okay. course, I don't expect fingers. any less. Right? Funny part, <laughs> part three. Here I'm we gonna come. say my two first fingers on my masturbation hand because the bitch always has to get off. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I expected nothing there less. There you go. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Yes, oh, here we yes, go. That's, oh, never. I, I these these fingers never be possessed. I can't wait. <laughs> or never mind. Never no, mind. No, no, Kelly, go ahead. <laughs> or what? Come on, Kelly. Come on. I just say where they get possessed and they start twitching and it'd be like doing it with someone else. <laughs> oh, my God, that would. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't be alone. She's blocking her face. Like, oh, my God. I can see her. She's so embarrassed. <laughs> She's, like, covering her face. Could you... Oh, it's a new project. Oh Y'all, could you imagine <laughs> if a vibrator got possessed? Could you imagine if somebody's vibrator got possessed? Yeah, I, I, think that possessed. Was, oh, yeah, I think that was Holly's answer last time. I'm not sure, but. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, that's great. That's my sister. I'm telling you, yeah. we think alike, y'all. Uh, <laughs> I knew that first time, like four years ago, I knew I liked her. I didn't know where to find her or anything else, but. You know, I made a connection. She didn't know it, so now I stalk her everywhere. Yes. 
you know. That's awesome. You come and stalk all of us, baby. We love, oh, I, we I love do. all y'all. You know that. I share all your shit. <laughs> I, know. I, I do. And I'm like, thank you so much for that. That's so awesome. We love y'all. And I want to thank you for letting us come on this month and just, like, hanging out with y'all. Kelly, you oh. know we love you. I mean, we just, oh. we're really blessed to have y'all around us. Oh. No, season three, you I, guys I will be back. Does. I'm telling you. Uh, yes. Yeah. All right. Hold on. We got to. I didn't do shout outs in the beginning. Kelly, you want me to try to do shout outs? Oh, um, um, uh, I can try. Okay. Hang on. Right. We have tons of people, so if we miss anybody, we are very sorry. We but there was a lot right of chat. In. We jumped right in. I didn't do my part in the beginning. So if you were first in chat, slacker. thank you, guys. A lot of work keeping her in line. Okay. <laughs> We have Kim, Darren, Matt, uh, Miss Shay, of course, Rebecca Williamson, Darren, uh, Mama Deb. Um, Hi, Mom. Love up. you. Miss you. Mama Pat, of course. Love you, too, Mama Pat. Miss you, too. And I'm still scrolling. Eye of the Beholder. And I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. There's too many. I think I said Rebecca already. Of course, we had the lovely Miss Holly was in there. Yep. Keeping us all entertained. Ashley may not have been in chat, but she was with us in spirit. I just want to make sure to point that out. Oh, Aww. Aww. Hey, Ashley. See you next week. <laughs> and uh, Mr. Chris Nielsen of Paranomatic was in there with us. Thank you, Chris. And Holly again. Um, 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 I'm scrolling. We had uh, Steph in there. Um, oh, okay. yeah. Miss Stephanie, J-Rod. she's a good friend. She's seen me drunk more than once, too. Whew. Okay, there's <laughs> the list of people in here who have seen me drunk. This is this is not good. <laughs> I sound like I have a problem. Again, happy birthday, Kelly Stephan. <laughs> Miss Kelly Stephan, I had just gotten to her. Are you scrolling from the top? I always scroll uh, from the top. I don't. I scroll from the bottom and work my there's way up. There's so many people in here. Uh, Cynthia. I, I can't see her. Oh, yet, yes. She was Cynthia in there. was in there. This is why Cynthia we did the beginning and the end, but we jumped right um, in. Um, I think I said Kim Purvis already, but I'm going to say it again in case I didn't. Miss Cynthia. Awesome show last night, Kim. Um, REP Paranormal Busters and Friends. If you <clears> did not hear it, trust me. Check it out. They had um, Michelle, don't make me say her last name, from Paranormal State on last night. Catch the replay. <laughs> it was really good. And Luna just jumped in there, and John R. Oh, Miss Luna. Or J. J Ron. Or I yeah. could go that the other way. Yeah. Yes. Miss Luna, I haven't seen you forever. Hello. It's, I can't scroll any, I can't scroll back any further. I think that's, I. if I miss anybody, guys, I'm sorry. There was a ton of chat, which we love, but it makes it hard uh, to go four, through to catch over. 400 comments, so thank you, guys. We love <clears> you. Love it. We love it. Luna, good oh, long damn. time to see. Love you, girl. Um, so next week we will have little Miss Ashley, the shy one. <laughs> oh, hold on. Yeah. We are not going to go as far as to call that woman shy. Compared to Holly She's and Missy. <laughs> you know? Oh, no. Oh, no. She, Holly's <laughs> about to this. On the other side of this, when we're out in public, Ashley does sometimes step back as deserved a little bit. So oh, for some no. reason she doesn't one like to be naked like with her you. sister. <laughs> yeah, she's the meat of this sandwich. Right. <laughs> uh, and then I think I think oh. the Friday after that will be Holly and then all and then the Friday after that will be all three of you or it will be all three of you, then mm-hmm. Holly. We haven't got the rest of the schedule mess uh fi- figured out because of last oh. week's um computer trouble, but we can have everybody yes, individually, and then I'm and still then, with you next week, but then I'm out the two weeks after that. I have no idea. You haven't sent your schedule in yet. I thought I did. You know, you really need to get better help because I do. You... <laughs> I'm telling you. No, you did. You told me, but I didn't write down. So you're, uh, you're texting it to me. So that was my bad. Thanks. That was my hey, thanks, J. Ron. Hi to you too. I hope you enjoyed the show, and I hope you come back. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have no idea what you miss. Listen back, J. Ron. Oh yeah. <laughs> I I always 
look like a good one when anyone what? else has the gypsies are on. What? <laughs> that yeah, that's so stretching funny. things a little. <laughs> I put my professional shirt on for y'all tonight. I just well, need you to know, know. I put my professional shirt on every week, <laughs> and somehow by the middle of the show, the shirt comes off. And your the professional shirt, like shirt has the titty holes cut out of it. That oh, doesn't count. That's what it is. I'm so sorry. I get confused. You know? Good lord. You know? I am who I am. Oh, like me, don't like me. Listen to my show, don't like, you know, don't listen to the show. <laughs> I'm not changing. I, I'm not pretend. I'm real. There you and, go, honey. Yep. So, that's why we fucking love you. Yeah. Hey, Steven, thanks for joining us. Um, no, that's it. So, all right, guys. <laughs> On that note, my dog is like bouncing around. <laughs> She's blaming it on the dog, but Shay is bouncing in her chair as well. I think they both need potty breaks. No, I, oh. I did. I peed. You guys oh. didn't even know I left the second time. Messages. You'll see. She didn't leave. Thing. She just peed. Yeah. No, somebody knocked on my door and I had to go, so I went pee at the same time. So. Um. All right. Awesome, so. Awesome. Um, Darren, I have no clue what you mean, but I'm not reading that on air to so get more um details. So, you know. We'll ask Ashley about it next week. Send more details. That's what I mean. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Misty, thank you so much. I love you, girl. Yes, ma'am. All thank right. Thank you so, so much. I love y'all, lady. Oh, love you guys. It. I'm looking forward to this again in a year. Let me tell you. Yes. Yep. This oh, be my God. Yes. Thing. That's awesome. We, that, we are it. honored, honey. Yes, we are oh. honored. So thank you so much. And if I see y'all ladies out there in the field this year, I know uh-huh. Kelly, we're going to see you. Yes. Kelly, we need to bring your ass on out. Just you do. do or if me you come walking to, drunk one night. I'm from New Hampshire, so if you come this way, let me know well ahead of time. I, yes. Ask Kelly, I can keep a secret. I just need a little notice. Yep. yep. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Um, shit, we... I don't know. We went to New York recently, but I don't know if we're going up that way, honey. I'm gonna mess with the hell out of you and be like, "Look, we need to see your ass." Are you guys going to Gettysburg and uh, uh, for the Gettysburg Bash next this summer? You know, you know what? That's yes. one of the things on our list that we want yes. to do. Is Say it, yes. Okay. Yes. I'm, yes. I'm, I'll, I'll be there too. Be going. I'll, I'll be there. Be there. Twisted, <laughs> Twisted Realm is gonna <laughs> give me some special. Tea or something? I don't know. It could be fun. Oh shit! Oh, I know what you're talking. Moonshine? Yes, probably. <laughs> probably. I forget now because I was. Yeah. So yes, you should come out. Yes. Yep. Oh my god, yes. I forgot about that. Okay, I'm gonna have to get off the phone and be like, "Bitches, we gotta roll up." Yeah. Holly's never been. Holly's we never went, been. Kelly Me and I and, I, and oh. um, Nicole um, and a friend of ours went last June. Oh. It was. And Mama Pat. And Mama, and Mama Pat. Pat. Sorry. Sorry, Mama. It was a month before the bash, so we couldn't reschedule to go during the bash. It sucked. But we had a great time. Oh. We did have a good time. Yep. It was a good okay, time. Good, we'll have to We'll have to come. Well, my God, Gettysburg won't be the same, honey. And they nope. <laughs> it lived through the last time. I don't know what we'll, if it will live through the next, but we will make it. You know, <laughs> yes, yes. I had uh, good times in Gettysburg. So yes, although did y'all ladies get to tra- climb to the top of that tower? Yes. About fucking kill me. I'm gonna lie. Which one? Oh my Which god. Which one? Wait a minute. To the observatory right? tower. Yeah. Yes, it was a humongous fucking tower. I don't know. I got up there. I was like, God, over the ladies pre- you can overlook the president's house. No, I didn't know the president's house. I know I did. Oh, you I did that like one. The fucking pills. Oh, Lord, I'm going to, Lord, this one I went on, I was like, Jesus Christ, they, they had to be in shape, man. <laughs> it was all metal, and it was like uh, 500 yes. steps. Yes. Yeah, and yes. you can see the um, Eisenhower farm or whatever, whichever president it was, sorry, guys, the one bear got to my head. Um, whichever president it was, you can see his <laughs> farm in the distance, and... <clears throat> Yeah, I did it. Oh, oh my God, I almost died. That's so awesome. Yes, I'm serious. I was like, Lord, I'm going to come down here. Woo. 
I was hyperventilating, like, afraid top. of heights. I'm like, I'm doing this. I don't give a mm-hmm. shit. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And I got up there, and I'm yeah. like, how am I getting down? <laughs> 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 yeah, it's beautiful, too, isn't it? It is. Oh my it is. God. But then you realize you have to go down. Yeah, that's the yes. question. I ain't got no knees, ladies. I can't drop it like a pot or get downstairs anymore. I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Dropping low is not a problem. It's the getting back up that I have an issue yeah, with. Sorry, my, my knees are out of out of service, like forever. <laughs> <laughs> Lord. No comment. No, I meant it just like you took it, Kelly. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, you two hold on the line for a second. All right, guys, join us next yes, week for um, Ashley Connor, of course. And um, check out Paranormal Buzz Radio for all the shows coming up. Um, or check out Shea Carroll Stories if you're friends with me. And, Aww. Uh, Darren gave me a shout out. Yes, as a reminder, I will be back with the Realm Walker on Wednesday. And my guest is going to be Dan Class to celebrate the one year <laughs> anniversary. So, yeah, join me on Wednesday as we kick off the 2020 Realm Walker. Darren. Yay. I know. Look at him go. I used to say all the shows <clears throat> on my show, but now we are up to 12 shows. And it's just too many. It takes too much time. I don't mean that bad. That's a good thing on Paranormal Buzz, but I just, I can't do it anymore, so. But, Dan Class, I'll be making faces at you. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm muted. I, I produce the show, but Nobody can hear me, so I'll be, I'll be blowing kisses <laughs> at him. He'll love it every minute of it, I'm sure. Yeah. All right, guys. Good night. Thank you so much, Misty. Thank you. Give me thank one, you, Misty. Thank you, honey. Give me one second. Thank you.